I have a confession. You know what I'm saying? Um, basically, my confession is that, you know what I'm saying? Like, we got time. I drop my demons off. On my mind. What, what, what it do, what it do, it's your boy Mr. Bills and I do this for real, get it, hold up, y'all say it with me, my name is Mr. Bills, I do this for real, get it, listen, so before I get started this video man, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, turn that post notification while you add it, get that bell right there, or ring a ding a ding ding, so today man, I have a confession, you know what I'm saying, um, basically my confession is that, you know what I'm saying, like, People, a lot of people wonder or want to know how many girlfriends I've had in, in my past and how many relationships I've been in in my past. So, this is this video to tell y'all a little bit more about me. So, y'all know a little bit about me. In high school, um, let's see, we're going to start in high school because middle school really don't count. Uh, in high school, I, um, I dated like maybe... I say two females, you know what I'm saying? I dated two females or whatever. And like the relationship was like childish, I would say. And because of the simple fact that I couldn't really see them like that. Like it was like a high school relationship, like really a high school relationship. Like I would like go to school and see them and we would see each other. And then after school, we wouldn't see each other. You know what I'm saying? And around this time, like, my my girlfriends were like um they started when i went to like my 12th grade year because before my parents was real strict on me dating and stuff like that they didn't want me to date nobody and they didn't want me you know what i'm saying they just wanted me to focus on school and graduating so i kind of was sneaking and like having a girlfriend like i kind of was sneaking or whatever to have a girlfriend because i really wanted to experience it as you can say because i seen so many people around me having girlfriends and stuff like that. So I'm like, I want a girlfriend, you know what I'm saying? I want to experience that, you know what I'm saying? What is love, you know what I'm saying? So, I was sneaking or whatever, so um, that's, on, that's the reason why I only had two girlfriends in high school. Now, um, I really don't count those because of the simple fact that, like, I was with them, but I wasn't with them. You dig know what I'm saying? Like, it, it was like it was like we was together, but we wasn't together. Like I said, because I was only being able to see them in in school. And if you if you're not really spending enough time, like you know the the important time outside of like wherever you meet that person at, it's really not a valid relationship. You dig know what I'm saying? So me and this girl, we started dating. And you know what I'm saying? It was sort of towards the end of the year or whatever. And basically, like, you know, she had a lot of, you know, reputation. She, her reputation was big at the school or whatever. She was well known. And um, my, I had a nice little reputation at school. I was kind of well known as well. I wasn't a lame, but you know, I stayed in my lane, if you get what I'm saying. Like, I wasn't a lame. I knew a lot of people, but you know what I'm saying? Like, you know how you got homecoming court and stuff like that. I was on them, them type stuff too, but you know what I'm saying? Like, I wasn't known, no. You know what I'm saying at that time? So, you know what I'm saying? Like, we talking or whatever and getting to know each other and stuff like that. And, you know what I'm saying? We graduate and we really didn't see each other anymore because, like, she went to a school in a different state and. You know what I'm saying? I was going, I was staying back in Georgia going to school. So it really wasn't going to work out because you got to think about we freshmen. Like, you know what I'm saying? We, at this time, we really kind of loose. You know what I'm saying? Like, because we out of our parents' house. We ain't got to worry about our parents telling us, oh, you got to get up and you got to do this. And you got to do this. It's just like, we on our own time now. So it was just like, we just felt like it was better for us to, you know what I'm saying? Dismantle the relationship and go our separate ways. But we went our separate ways peacefully, I would say. Because, um, you know what I'm saying, like me, the type of person I am, I'm not a very confrontational person. I don't really like conflict and stuff like that. I just like to, you know what I'm saying, deal with the situation. And if I can ease it as much as I can, I try to ease it as much as I can. So, with that being said, me or her broke up and, um, like, you know what I'm saying, like, 
that was that. I get into college and this is like my, my freshman year. Um, I had females that I was interested in and I, I wanted to like, you know, kind of pursue or whatever, but we never dated. And so I say my actual, my first, first, this is my first, you guys, my first actual relationship that I count was my uh, uh, sophomore year when I was in college. And um, I'm not gonna say the name. Her name was, matter of fact, I'm not gonna say the name. I'm not gonna say the name. Um, but we dated or whatever, and um, we dated for almost a year, um, which was like my longest relationship ever. Because like I said, like my parents were so strict and on me about, you know what I'm saying? Like my parents were the type to tell me like, Oh, girls got cooties, you know what I'm saying? So, I, in my mind, I'm thinking girls got cooties, you know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't trust none of that, you know what I'm saying? So, I'm like, I started, me and her started dating or whatever, and like, um, like I came in at a very, very crucial time for her because her and her boyfriend had just recently broke up. So, me and her started talking every day, like, I'm talking about, like, we were talking every day, like, at this time, I, I didn't have a car, so I was using my mom's car, actually. I would use my mom's car, go see her, just go to her crib and just talk to her about, you know, situations and tell her everything will be okay, you know, you gotta be strong, um, everything happened for a reason, and, you know, that, that type of story, you know what I'm saying, that, like, we was just, I was just, like, letting her vent to me and telling her everything was gonna be fine, you know what I'm saying, you just gotta trust your process. That's what it's all about, trusting your process. We uh we kick it off. Um we kick it off. I think, yeah, I kicked it off. I was like, you know what, you know what I'm saying? I wanna go ahead and make this, you know what I'm saying, official between me and you. I feel like we got a lot of potential that we need to, you know what I'm saying, explore. And you know what I'm saying? Like maybe we should give it a shot. You know what I'm saying? So she was like, you know, I feel the same. So we gave it a shot. And I ain't gonna say that I regret it. I'm not gonna say I regret that relationship. But what I will say is that it taught me a lot. I learned a lot from that relationship. Not only, I already knew how to treat a, a female because you know what I'm saying, growing up seeing my parents and their uh, relationship with each other, I knew how to treat a, a, a female, but I didn't know exactly how to be in a relationship yet. So it took a lot of like growing for me, you know what I'm saying? It took a lot of um, like, you know, time, energy, and effort, and sacrifices, you know what I'm saying? We both made sacrifices for each other, and I feel that that's very important in relationships. You gotta take sacrifices. We uh, start dating, and in the beginning, everything's cool, you know what I'm saying? Everything, you know, we, we in them, we in them, you know what I'm saying, them, them cupcake stages, you know what I'm saying, where it's like, I can't, I can't get away from her, she don't wanna be away from me, we just enjoying each other, we all up under each other, she wanna be baby, I wanna be baby, we both getting baby by each other, it's just, it's just a lovely sight, you know what I'm saying, um, and we enjoy that, and then, you know, later on when we start running to, you know, our little problems and bumps in the road, um, things got a little, you know, hard and difficult for us to be together. However, um, I honestly say that, you know what I'm saying, I took a lot from that relationship. We, you know what I'm saying, we spent a lot of time together. Like, I can remember like getting off of work and going straight to her crib every day. Like, like you know what I'm saying? Because at this time, like, we, we dated for a while and I think we dated before I went back to college. Like, so around that time, it was like summertime. Around that time, and like you know, what I'm saying we would be together all the time, and you know, what I'm saying she would pick me up and she let me get her car, and it was just you know, it was a, it was a lot of you know growing. We we grew together, you know, what I'm saying we did grow together. I can honestly say that, but it's unfortunate that um, it's unfortunate that you know things don't work out, you know, what I'm saying, but life has to, you know, life has its reasons why different things happen. So I just had to accept the fact that that was going on and that, you know what I'm saying, I just had to move on at this point. Um, but I'm not going really, I don't really like putting, you know what I'm saying, too much information out there. But we will say we both had our wrongs that we, you know what I'm saying, we partake in our relationship. Um, but sometimes, you know what I'm saying, when a person, when, when a person's um, bad outweigh their goods, Sometimes you gotta let that go, you know what I'm saying? Because it's not healthy, you know what I'm saying? Like, when, when you're trying to work and and focus on not only yourself, but the relationship as well, and you know what I'm saying? Elevating yourself, and when you feel like you're, you, like you're changing 
to be become a person that you don't like, that that's your that's your like cue to like you know what I'm saying. You gotta you gotta end it, and it, it, as hard as it can be or whatever, it, it, it's it's no bad feelings. Like as long as you do it with no intentions of bad feelings, like. It's gonna be okay, you know what I'm saying? And I had to realize that. But on the other hand, you know what I'm saying? When you when you break up with somebody, they don't necessarily, you know what I'm saying, take it as 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 well. You know what I'm saying? So like one day I realized that, you know, me and her, we just was at like a at a point to where I felt like we couldn't move, you know what I'm saying? So I did what was best for me, and you know what I'm saying, I told her basically, you know what I'm saying. We've, we've come to a point where I feel like we can't move past, you know what I'm saying? So it's just better for me to, you know what I'm saying, wash my hands off and, you know what I'm saying, like move on. But it, it wasn't nothing that, you know what I'm saying, because like I said, I learned a lot from that relationship and I learned that, you know what I'm saying, it, it, I learned that it takes sacrifices in relationships. Like sometimes you gotta go through things and do things that you don't wanna do for the happiness of the other, you know what I'm saying? And that's very important to um, put your feelings aside a lot, you know what I'm saying? And just deal with what it is, you know what I'm saying? Like, fellas, you know what I'm saying? A lot of times when you feel like you right in a situation and your girl feel like she right in a situation, sometimes you gotta just let her have it, you know what I'm saying? Like, you gotta let, you gotta let them have it because at the same time, like, if you if you always want to be the the person in the right and vice versa, ladies, you know what I'm saying. If you always feel like you want to be the person that's right all the time, you are gonna push that person away. You know what I'm saying? Because they like, well, you're not listening to what I'm saying. And if you feel like you always right, you know what I'm saying. When am I gonna be right? Because like at the same time, nobody wants to feel like they're always wrong. You know what I'm saying? Like nine times ten, even though if they're wrong, you know what I'm saying. Just give it to them. You know what I'm saying? Because like your relationship is built around commitment, time, effort, energy, persistence, perseverance, and you know what I'm saying, trust. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of factors that build around relationships that people often don't like realize, you know what I'm saying? And that causes the relationship to not be as successful and healthy as it should be. You dig know what I'm saying? That's my confession. Like, I only had one female. Like that I've dated ever, you know what I'm saying? Um, however, I'm not I'm not afraid of commitment. I'm not afraid of relationships. You know what I'm saying? I I think relationships are a beautiful thing. You know what I'm saying? Um, because God created the woman for the man. You know what I'm saying? And vice versa. You dig what I'm saying? So, with that being said, man. That was my confession, man. If y'all want to see more confession videos, man, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Drop in the comments below. It's the Bills way. Team Bills stand up. Brown skin Prince, man. You already know what time it is. On that note, man, <laughs> we out of here. Get it! Get it, yeah. Then I ran up a ticket. Yeah. Counting comments in them digits. Yeah. Got them bitches in their feelings. Yeah. She shaking ass in them titties. Yeah. Touring in different cities. Yeah. No, I'm a